Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second video for the year 2020. This year, I am going to make an effort to push out more videos. Um, my goal is to try to put up at least two videos a week. Um, hopefully, if everything goes as planned, I will be able to do it. I do have a busy schedule, so I do apologize for my subscribers um, for not being able to get out more content for you. Um, I want to first and foremost thank everybody who have supported me for the year of 20. 19 and who are continuing to support me through 2020 i want to thank you so much for continuing to come back if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you have watched one of my videos i ask that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you can be updated anytime i release a new video um if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will help me out along the way with growing my channel and um, securing more content for my lovely family. In this video, I'm going to do a get ready with me showing you some of the products that I love for the year 2019. Um, this will be a mixture of drugstore products and high-end products because for 2019, I have been using both. If you use any of these products, please let me know. Um, if you want me to do an extensive video of a certain product please leave that down in the comment as well um with all of that being said please stay tuned and watch the rest of the video talk to you soon so first and foremost we're going to start off with um, putting some moisturizer on our face and for 2019 one of the moisturizers that i have been using constantly is is the Cellophil, and this is for really um, dry skin. So I've been loving this. I'm actually almost out, and I just usually put a little bit on the back of my hand and um, just moisturize my face with it. So once I have my face moisturized, I always moisturize my lips. And with that, I have been using um, all year long the mini Vaselines. Moving along, for 2019, I have been using two primers. They have been my all-time favorite primers of um, last year, and um, actually three primers. I use one only for the summertime, but my all-time favorite primer of 2019 has been the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this. I use it so much. This is my second one. Um, the other primer that I use all summer long is this makeup forever step one when i tell you you're looking for a primer that's going to keep your face matte all day long this is the primer you cannot go wrong with this and um for my lower end uh, primers my favorite one has been the rimmel stay matte but this has been my top number one primer for 2019 so i'm going to use this And I just use this just like I do my lotion and put it all over my face. So starting off, I'm going to um, do my eyebrows. And for me this year, I have been using all drugstore brow pencils. And um, my top two have been the Maybelline. And this is the Brow Ultra Slim and um, the NYX Professional 
um, Michael Brow. And today, I think I'm gonna use the Maybelline. I've been using these all year long and they have been the best eyebrow pencil. Let me know down below if you use the, any of these products for your eyebrow. And if not, what brow pencil have been your favorite this for the year 2019? Okay guys, so for my concealer for my lids and to clean up my brows, I have been using faithfully the Makeup Revolution um concealers and i use shade c 12.5 and c14 these have been my go-to for 2019 and i'm sure these will be the ones that i use for 2020 as well i love this concealer the consistency is so smooth um it's not too thick it's just like it's just perfect and I just put a little bit on my brush and then clean up my brows. Okay, so now that we got our brows all done and our lids all primed, my favorite palette for 2019 was the Revelation Pro um, Neutral 2 palette. I love this palette. Uh, I've been using it all year long. Um, it's, it's just been my all-time favorite. So today, I'm going to do a neutral eye because that is something that I have been doing for the whole year of 2019. Um... I feel like in 2020, I want to get more into using some color on my face. I used to use color all the time on my eye looks, but for some reason for 2019, I just stuck within the neutral zone. So um, I'm going to do a neutral eye today using this palette. So I want to start off with um, this shade right here, which is like an orangey brick shade. And of course, this is going to be my transition color. So I want to um, deepen up this look a little bit. So I'm going to use this shade right here, just right in the crease to kind of Okay, for my lid, I'm gonna use this color right here. And I'm just patting this 
on my lid. I don't want it to be And guys, um, this palette, the only thing that I don't like about this palette is that it do not have any black. Um, I love a smoky eye. It don't have to be super smoky. So what I've been using is my Wet n Wild palette all year long to, um, this is a great palette, guys, if you want a neutral palette as well. I've been, this is my second favorite palette for 2019 and um i just go in this palette and use the black and just pop that in And I'm gonna kind of buff it out using my transition color so it's not so harsh. For my eyeliners for 2019, I've been using two liners all year long. And um, my favorite has been the e.l.f. liner, liquid liner. And um, I've been using the Kat Von D. And this is just the pencil kind. But um, if I had to say my top for 2019, it has been the e.l.f. So I'm going to line my upper lid. Okay, so my favorite mascara for the year of 2019 has been this um, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. It's one of, I've been using this um, mascara off and on with some drugstore ones, but I seem to always go back to this one. And um, I've never been a fan of high-end mascaras because I feel like the drugstore mascaras are just as good, but I can't lie, this is some good mascara. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put some mascara on and then I'll put my lashes on and then I'll come back and then we can jump into my favorite foundations for, um, my favorite foundations from 2019. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump into my favorite foundations for the year of 2019. And I have two favorite foundation. One is the Born This Way um, Too Faced. As you can see, my bottle has been used. It has been one of my favorites for 2019. And the other one is the Stay Naked Foundation. I've been using this a lot um, and I hope I'm not blinding you guys, but this has been my second all-time favorite foundation for 2019. So I'm going to use the Stay Naked to do my um, foundation today. And um, for my shade range for the Stay Naked, my shade is 71WY. And for the Too Faced um, Born This Way foundation, it is in the shade Shy. So I'm going to do my foundation um, using this one.
So guys, I only put like little dots on my forehead because I kind of use the foundation that I'm using for the rest of my face to fill in my forehead. So moving along, I'm using my um, Real Technique sponge to just blend this in. This foundation is medium to full coverage. So for my concealers, I've been using two all-time favorite concealers for 2019, and I definitely know that I will be using them for 2020, um, and that is the Born This Way, and this is the Chestnut and the um, Butterscotch. I love these concealers. They are full coverage. I actually use these sometimes for um, um, when I don't want to use foundation and I just want to do something really quick so I just want to do some um, spot touch-ups I use the Born This Way concealers they for foundation and I just use the butterscotch right underneath of my eyes just to um, hide those dark spots that I have and then I use the butterscotch right underneath of that. And I use the butterscotch to do the remainder of my face. And taking my Real Technique sponge, I kind of just press it into place. Like so. And I just use the extra product on the sponge to do around my mouth. Then I um, like to buff out any of the harsh lining that you may see so that the concealer and the foundation is blended. So for my setting powder for 2019, my all-time setting powder has been the um, Peach Perfection from Too Faced, and I'm going to use this to set my eyes. The other setting powder that I've been using a lot for 2019, and I think I will be using it in 2020, is the um, Fenty and the shade Honey. It's been another all-time favorites for 2019.
So once I got my setting powder on, I go ahead and just brush it off. I do not bake my face because I have dry skin. Um, and it just sucks all the moisture out of my face, out of my skin. So I just go ahead and just brush off any excess powder that I have left on my face. So once I have the powder brush off my face, the face powder that I've been using for 2019 was the Sephora uh, Michael Smooth setting powder and it is an all time favorite. This is my second one that I've used for 2019 and this will be my go to for 2020. I keep one of these in um, my makeup bag that I carry with me at all times uh, because I know no matter what this is the best to um, touch up your face. And so I just use this anywhere that I didn't put the peach perfection. So moving on to my favorite bronzers for 2019, which will probably be the same for 2020. Um, but my all-time favorite bronzer for the year of 2019 have been the CoverGirl Four Spectrum Bronzer. And this is in the shade Ebony. I love this bronzer. It looks deep, but it really has a light payoff. It, it's just the perfect color. To just add some extra dimension into my face. And I also like to use this on my forehead. Okay, so once my face is bronzed, I move on to my favorite blush of all times, not just for the year of 20. 19 but this is my all-time favorite blush and this is a drugstore blush this is the black radiance blush um in the shade toasted almonds i love this blush so much i use it almost every day and as you can see i have touch pan in this one um trust me i have backups this is my all-time favorite blush um it just have such a subtle look to it um, just to give you a pop of color to your face. So my all-time favorite setting spray for 2019 has been the urban decay um all night i have a few that i'm looking forward to trying for 2020 and um but this has been I, i've been using these like crazy So just to spray my face to give it a little more moisture and to set my foundation. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And um, while that is drying, I'm going to talk about my two highlighters that 
I've been using all year that has been my all time favorite for 2019. And they are the um, Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Melted Gold and Melted Peach. These have been my all time favorite. I've been rotating using these for the year of 2019. Um, these definitely will be something that I will be reaching for for 2020 because I feel like they you a little bit goes a long way and they have a great payoff. So with that being said, I'm going to use the Master Chrome um, Peach for today and I'll show you what it looks like. And you can just see the sparkles in it. So on to my lips. For 2019, I have not been really into using lipsticks and um, glosses, but I feel like um, I've been going more so with a nude lip, just some um, lip gloss, some um, um, Vaseline on my lips and uh, kind of been uh, going that way, just the natural route. But I feel like I want to get back into lipsticks because lipsticks used to be my all-time favorite makeup accessory. Um, you could just pop lipstick on without even putting on a full face just to kind of brighten up your uh, face and to make you look a little more put together. So I will be getting back into wearing lipstick for the year of 2020 and I look forward to that. But for this look today, I'm going to use my... Um, Kat Von D lipstick and I'm going to use a NYX liner and this is in the shade dark purple. And I'm just going to top this lip off with a nice gloss. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know down below if you use any of these products in 2019. If they are products that you want to go and pick up for 2020, just to give them a try, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.